Ahoy, ahoy. It is Cammy with another time lapse of my drawing that took me maybe like two weeks. I think it took me two weeks. I could totally be wrong, but it took me a long time. It felt like a lot of time because I was struggling on basically the painting quote quote coloring part. I was very like, not aggravated, but like very like annoying in the sense of I didn't know what, what I wanted to do, like which direction I wanted to take it. And that took me way too long. I did a whole bunch of different types of sketches. I did a lot of thumbnails. I played around with a lot of um, coloring, coloring methods, painting, quote, quote. I did some research as well. Like I went to a bookstore in the library at that during this time and looked up other art books or just like picture books to see how they do, you know. It's really good to like absorb some observations, get some like art ideas, yada yada, which I did. I think that really did help because I saw that I, oh, I want to draw like blank artist. I think that did help a lot. So my whole process of this thing with me went back and forth with my iPad and my computer. I guess a lot of things. I worked on the values on my iPad and then I drew some things and near the end where you, where you probably be watching it now is when I drew an eclipse of paint. You could tell when the background is white and the background like your gray because that's just how the program set up. The well, funny thing is in my the video program that I edited it actually black but I just saw a word and white JPEG in the background to like make it nicer looking. I, I'm happy that I figured it out. I'm happy I have to say I gotten very good at video editing. I didn't really like video editing to begin with, but I don't really mind it so far. So my process, my thought process was with axolotls and avocados. I didn't know how I was going to combine them, hence all my sketches. And then I kept drawing, like, oh, my, I was asking my one sister for, like, opinions or feedback, like, how, what do you think about, like, drawing? She liked the idea of a whale on top of it axolotl like they're going to like a fiesta or having like a mini party so i'm like oh let me run with that i tried a whole bunch of different guesses like oh maybe axolotl is a mascot for an avocado shop i don't know i tried a whole bunch of things and that's when i settled on drawing axolotl in a fiesta party what do you call it is it someone's birthday maybe are they just getting together because of a holiday? I don't know. Who knows? It's really up to you. But I knew I wanted to draw a couple of axolotls together in the background. I don't ever do illustrations with a background at all. It's not my thing. I don't really like doing it. But I knew I had to practice. So I'm like, okay, I gotta try. I gotta practice. And I'm really happy that I was able to use some of the other color swatches that I made for the other avocados. Well, not avocados. Actually, a lot of that I did. I was really happy I was able to use some of them. I did, like, take a mini survey with my whole family. Like, which one is your favorite? Which one is you do not like? And I came to the conclusion a lot of people like the coral axolotl. Which I'm like, I like it too. But I had two different cuts of pink. I had a coil and then like a pinky one, so I'm happy that they picked the one that they think looks the best. And like I asked them why, they gave me feedback. They really like worked on two axolotls that were distinguished. Like you could tell this is the tail, this is the ear flap, you know what we'll call it. The head, blah blah blah. So that's really good. I think it's important to get feedback. So what I did was a value catch in black and white then on top of that i believe i used like an overlay um overlay layer setting mode thing that's when i just colored in black colors only i did a brown i did pink i did the green which is important i tried to add like other things as well that were like semi important but not too too important just like to get the feel of the colors that i like i am I'm actually only, after I like compress all the files, my overlays and some, 
I don't like, really like using multiply. Like, it makes it too dark. It makes it really be saturated. I'm not a fan of that look. So I just didn't use multiply, but I did use like a normal layer and then lower down the opacity. That helped a lot. I added some detail. I cleaned up some of the edges. And the one thing that I saw in a lot of illustrations when I was researching was a lot of picture books that I liked personally when I was what I was trying to. They had no lines. So I did my best to like not actually draw with lines. Of course you're drawing with lines, but in the sense of you're not drawing with lines. I, it's really confusing if you ever look into it. Good luck. But I did my best to like distinguish the edges of each object with like a shadow, a highlight, a different color. I near the end, I did make adjustments of all the colors because I felt like it was very desaturated drawing, probably because I put it on top of a black and white drawing. This doesn't really help because I just the uh, black and gray absorb the color in a sense. Even though this isn't like traditional artwork, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. So I added like a, I boosted up the saturation a little bit. I just did that really quickly. I think it helped a little bit. I can definitely see where things I could have definitely um, improved on, added more detail. But at this point, I am getting tired of drawing it. I wanted to move on to the next thing, which would be the letter B. And I'm also drawing something really fun to do before my uh, co-worker friend and she t asked me to draw it like way way back like over a year ago now I just haven't gotten around to it yet so I'm like okay I'm gonna do it quote unquote easy to do it's not like I have to whack my brain on how to paint it's what I normally do I just draw a person and I call the day right now what I'm doing it was like a very much on a whim since I want to get into illustration, uh, illustration for picture books, I decided, hey, let me put this in like a page, quote, quote, like for someone learning the alphabet, for the alphabet, I don't know. So I did that, I used my quote, quote, graphic design skills to the test. So where I typed in the word, and I'm like, okay, let me figure out what's the important word what do I want to stand out? So I did that. I forgot what font I used, but it's a good font. No clue where I got it from. It's probably someone I don't know. <laughs> I've been using, I downloaded so many fonts when I was doing graphic design as a student. I did misspell Axolotl. Don't worry, I eventually did fix that. Luckily, I had a thing called Google to help me to make sure I know how to spell things. Spelling's not my forte, so if I, I would never write, probably. If I do, it would be a miracle of how I actually write. I'm actually pretty decently happy with how it turned out. I could definitely see where I can improve. Well, I feel like that's with anything and never really truly happy with it. Maybe that's just me. I am a really harsh critic to myself. That's for sure. But I really like it. It's kind of like a whimsical vibe, which I want. That's what I'm aiming for. This whimsical, cartoony, kitschy vibe. I had definitely had one to approve. But this is the first one that I did. I hope as I continue doing it, I actually get better. That is the plan. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.